the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we gather for Eucharist today, we pause for a moment in preparation, calling to mind our sins and God's mercy as well. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, that in the spirit of the Apostle Paul, we may pursue the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ. For having learned it, St. Anthony Zechariah constantly preached your saving word in the church. And, O oh God, author of peace and lover of charity, who adorned St. Elizabeth of Portugal with the marvelous grace for reconciling those in conflict, grant through her intercession that we may become peacemakers and so be called children of God. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear this, you who trample upon the needy and destroy the poor of the land. When will the new moon be over, you ask, that we may sell our grain, and the Sabbath, that we may display the wheat? We will diminish the containers for measuring, add to the weights, and fix our scales for cheating. We will buy the lowly man for silver and the poor man for a pair of sandals. Even the refuse of the wheat we will sell. On that day, says the Lord God, I will make the sun set at midday and cover the earth with darkness and broad daylight. I will turn your feasts into mourning and all your songs into lamentations. I will cover the loins of all with sackcloth and make every head bald. I will make them mourn as for an only son and bring their day to a bitter end. Yes, days are coming, says the Lord God, when I will send famine upon the land, not a famine of bread, or thirst for water, but for hearing the word of the Lord. They shall wander from sea to sea and roll from the north to the east in search of the word of the Lord, but they shall not find it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. One does One not does live not by bread alone, but by every word that comes, comes from, from the from mouth, mouth of God. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. One does, One does not, not live not by bread alone, alone but, but by every, every word, word that, that comes, comes from, from the mouth of God. God. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. My soul is consumed with longing for your ordinances at all times. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. The way of truth I have chosen I have set your ordinances before me. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Behold, I long for your precepts. In your justice, give me life. 
One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. <clears throat> As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> so this week we began an eight-week meditation on the prophets for our first reading in the Mass. So we'll have this for seven more weeks. Uh, this week we're with the prophet Amos, and <clears throat> he is talking about the dishonesty of the people. They're very holy on the, on the Sundays, but then as soon as it's over, they reset their scales and they try to cheat one another by selling less for more and, and all these things. And so he's taking them to task and saying that, you know, they will have to suffer for this dishonesty that they have. In the gospel, a similar thing happens because Matthew was a tax collector and they were hired by the Roman government. They could collect whatever they were able to over and above what was actually owed for a tax and keep that for themselves. So they weren't looked upon very kindly. But Matthew gives all that up and follows the Lord just as quickly as the fishermen apostles followed him and left their fishing. Uh, there was something seen in Jesus uh, that they saw and uh, <clears throat> decided to follow. <clears throat> Today is the feast of two saints. Uh, Saint Elizabeth of Portugal would have been yesterday, but we have Independence Day, so we have a special mass in this country. If you were in Canada, you would celebrated Elizabeth of Portugal yesterday, but she lived 700 years ago. Uh, she's named after her great aunt, St. Elizabeth of Hungary. And uh, when she had her son, well, that brought about peace within the family. And then there were future arguments that broke out among uh, those within her household fighting against one another. And she was always the great peacemaker. When her husband died, she became a member of the Poor Clares. And she is considered to be the patroness of Catholic charities because of her charitable work and peacemaking that she did. And then uh, St. Anthony um, is the feast uh, of, of today. It's St. Saint Anthony Mary Zechariah is his name. And he lived five centuries ago and he was a medical doctor, but he gave all that up to follow the Lord and founded uh, the clerks regular of St. Paul, also known as the Barnabites. And um, they were ones who professed the gospel and also served the poor and the sick uh, of their time. So two examples of saints of the past, five and seven centuries ago, 
Now it's our time to be the saints, the one who live the gospel on a daily basis, sometimes in very challenging times, in very challenging ways. But if they can do it, we can do it too. Let's pray through their intercession that we will always be faithful to the gospel. Now let us offer our prayers. Let us pray for Pope Francis and for all leaders in the church. They may have the graces that they need. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all of our civic leaders here and around the world that they may lead the people that they govern in a just and fair way. We pray to the Lord. For safety for all those traveling in this busy holiday season and that the bridge may open soon down the street we pray to the Lord let us pray for uh, peace in our world and in our time we pray to the Lord uh, let's also remember uh, Jameson uh, Ritter as a young a young policeman in Cleveland with relations here in, in the parish uh, who was killed in active duty the other day. And he may rest in peace and for his family. We pray to the Lord. Let us pause for a moment to add our own intentions. For these and for the Wire and Hiller families for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers today, and may we hear you as you speak your words of love, your words of direction, your words of hope to our hearts each and every day. For you are Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. For the mystery in this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands It will become our spiritual drink. Humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> may these offerings of our service placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed saints Anthony Zechariah and Elizabeth of Portugal be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray, 
and grant that, released from earthly attachments, we may have our riches in you alone, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Blessed Grimwald Santa Maria, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. The Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. By the power of this sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love to the example of Blessed Anthony Zechariah and Elizabeth of Portugal, and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Today is Addison's first time serving Mass. I think she did a very fine job. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As Mass is ended, let us go in the peace of Christ. Have a good day, everyone.